2012 and 2013. That was the last time that Texas Tech went to back-to-back -back bowl games. Who should be QB1 for Texas Tech if everyone is healthy to make sure that happens again this season. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm RC Maxwell here for the Back to 12 podcast. Before we get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech Athletics all year long. I'm making these videos that are kind of impromptu, just like this, because I see y'all's comments and I want to interact with y'all and have y'all's questions answered on your one-stop shop for everything Texas Tech Athletics. Of course, I'm talking about the Back to 12 podcast channel. Okay, so let's jump into this because I don't think this was a conversation before last week and I don't think anybody would disagree with me on that, but the way Tyler Shuck played against Kansas, we have to have a dialogue as Charles Barkley would say because that is the Tyler Shuck that every Texas Tech fan expected when he transferred in from Oregon after winning a Pac-12 title, albeit in a COVID season. Right. OK, so when you look at what he did threw for over 275 yards and was the leading rusher with 76 yards in a TD, also threw for one as well. But he was just in command of the game. It felt like every drive, even when Texas Tech didn't result in even getting a first down or getting any points, it felt like Tyler Shuck had it under control. Now, as we all know, in sports, not everything goes to plan, but that's OK, because Tyler Shuck looked good in this game against Kansas. And honestly, I just couldn't be happier for him, if I'm being honest about it. After all the just shittiness he's been through when it comes to injury luck this past two years, I could not be happier for Tyler Shuck just to have this type of performance and even have this conversation, right? So I'm going to ask you guys to do this, and then I'll break it down just a little bit more. If you want Baron Morton to be the starting quarterback, if everybody was healthy, like the video. If you want Tyler Shuck to be the starting quarterback if everybody was healthy, comment below. And then if you want Donovan Smith to be the starting quarterback out of all three, I want you to comment Donovan down below. Just comment T for Tyler, like the video for Baron, and let me know. All right, let's jump into this, though, because I think it's a little interesting in terms of where Texas Tech is and what this could mean moving forward. But right now, Baron Morton isn't healthy. Right, But in this scenario, we're saying, let's see if Baron Morton is available. And at the time of this recording, on Monday, November 14th, we should know if Baron is going to be available against Iowa State in week number 12 of the season for Texas Tech. Now, here's the thing. If you're asking me if everyone is healthy, my opinion is this. I think it should be Baron Morton. Now, I will say this. I think that they're, again, after last week, we have to have this conversation when you ask me who gives Texas Tech the highest ceiling if everybody's healthy, it's Baron Morton. If you ask me who is the most reliable and who I think could just be that guy that I think makes the least amount of mistakes, I think that's Tyler Shuck. And the reason being is this. Again, I'm basing a lot of my argument right now off one game. But listen, when Tyler Shuck was throwing ducks against Baylor and TCU, I thought there was no chance for him to even have a chance to be QB1 or have this conversation. Now we have to have it because that was the guy everybody expected. He was throwing darts in the play that really stands out to me the most and envision this is the play that Xavier White had for 47 yards. And it's not even really Xavier White with the run after the catch. It's how Tyler Shutt got the ball to Xavier White. Okay, the pocket is collapsing on the backside. He has to step up to his left and then take two steps forward, to another step forward. And then when he's leaning forward and a pass rusher is coming from his blind side, he feels that pressure and throws an absolute dart 20 yards down the field to Xavier White to a place that only Xavier White can catch it and, and only the place that Xavier White can catch it and then have a ton of yards to run after the catch. OK, that one play really stood out to me in terms of, OK, Tyler Shuck is back. He's got the zip on the football. He's got the pocket awareness and he's not trying to force anything. That was really the critical aspects that stood out to me in this game. And it really just come to a head in that one play. Right. And also this, I think you got to give this kid some credit in terms of he's coming back from two shoulder collarbone type injuries and he's still running the football. Now he's being a lot smarter about it and not taking a big hit but he's being 
very cerebral when it comes to, okay, I understand that I can't just sit here in the pocket and be scared kind of in a way. And I think human nature would be okay with that. If you think about this logically, I probably, if I was in his shoes, would not want to, want to get hit. Like, let's just be real, right? But he went out there and he was cerebral in terms of doing what Texas Tech needed on the offensive side of the football when he had to run the football. 76 yards led the way. And let's be honest, this wasn't one of those situations where Texas Tech was not running the football. They ran 45 times. And they were really good at it with Sir Roger Thompson, with Taj Brooks, with Cameron Valdez, the three-headed monster back there in the backfield for Texas Tech. Not to mention, Donovan Smith came in and had a rushing touchdown to start off the scoring in this one. Tyler Shuck has to be talked about as a QB1 option for Texas Tech moving forward if Texas Tech is serious about getting to a bowl game. That being said, Baron Morton does too. Um, and before I get into that, one more reminder, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech Athletics all year long. I'm giving you daily videos about Texas Tech, the latest highlights from Patrick Mahomes or other Red Raiders in the NFL, NBA, wherever it may be. I'm giving you those highlights right here in Lyle, and I have one of the best Texas Tech podcasts in the network. I mean, it is just so much fun talking to Lyle, and Lyle does a great job of really just breaking down plays and giving his interpretation of things. And I, there's nobody like him in this Texas Tech podcast space because he is a coach. He is a former player. He calls plays, right? Like he knows how this game works and he is so smart. So if you want expert analysis and really film breakdown as well, you know what to do. Hit that big red button to stay in the know on Texas Tech Athletics all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel. Okay, one more thing. Again, like the video if you want Baron Morton to be the starting quarterback. Comment T, just the letter T, if you want Tyler Shuck to be the starting quarterback. And if you want Donovan Smith to be the starting quarterback, I want you to comment Donovan and also like the comment where I say, well, if you want Donovan Smith to be the starting quarterback, like the comment. All right, let's get to the Baron Morton side of things because I mentioned a little earlier, he gives Texas Tech the highest upside. It's the truth, right? So you see what Baron Morton has done, right? He has struggled a little bit at times. He's a redshirt freshman. It is what it is. But to me, this Zach Kittley offense runs best when Baron Morton is the starting quarterback. And there will be some pushback on that, especially after this Kansas game. But I think Baron Morton allows Zach Kittley to be even a little bit more creative. Now, how does that change with this ankle injury? Remember, this is his second ankle injury of the season so far. How does that change things moving forward in terms of his escapability? Do Texas Tech, um, do you see them run the football a little bit more or a little less, excuse me, with the quarterback position if Baron Morton is the quarterback? I don't think that that's out of the question, and I don't think it would be a good thing for the Texas Tech offense. So I think you have to put that into the conversation. Now, I think also Donovan Smith should be at least commented on. I mean, the guy has done a phenomenal job this year in terms of winning games for Texas Tech at a high level. Again, he beat Houston, he beat UT, and he kept in that game out in Raleigh against NC State. Albeit he wasn't perfect, and he's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. He has his flaws. I'd be remiss not to at least mention his name in this, right? But I think when it comes down to the nitty-gritty, this comes down to Baron Morton, and it comes down to Tyler Shuck. And if both are completely healthy, once again, I think you have to start Baron Morton. And this trickles into next season as well. Baron Morton is your future, in my opinion. I, I truly believe that. I think Baron Morton gives you the highest ceiling. I think he gives you the most creativity on the offense. That being said, if he is not healthy this year or that ankle injury starts to linger and he's even available, but you can tell that maybe he's not close to 100%, maybe it's just a 75% Baron Morton. I think Tyler Shuck should be the starting quarterback moving forward for Texas Tech. Now, y'all are going to say I'm hedging my bets. Whatever you want to say, that's completely fine. I will say this again one more time so it is perfectly clear. If Baron Morton is able to go and he is close to 100%, I'm talking 85% or higher, there's no doubt in my mind he should be the starting quarterback. But if there is even a little bit of a chance that Texas Tech has to change their offense even remotely a little bit, Tyler Shuck should be the starting quarterback moving forward 
for Texas Tech as they try to go to a bowl game in back-to-back -back years for the first time since 2012 and 2013. One more time, let me know who you think should be the starting quarterback. If you think Baron Morton should be the starting quarterback, like the video. If you think Tyler Shuck should be the starting quarterback, comment T, just the letter T in the comments below. And if you think Donovan Smith should be the starting quarterback, like the comment down below that says Donovan Smith should be the starting quarterback. As always, I am RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast, reminding you, if you want the latest and greatest when it comes to Texas Tech athletics news, you know what to do. Hit that big red button and subscribe to the Back to 12 podcast channel.